Good morning, community. I'm Jason Rom with Dev Central, and today is May 7th, 2025. F5 discloses security exposures and vulnerabilities for F5 products in a quarterly security notification, and that is this. Uh, joining me from F5 CERT to share this quarter's announced issues is security engineer Chris Palmer. Chris, how are you today? Good. How are you, Jason? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, you want to jump into this? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Okay, this will be the May 2025 QSN. Um, go ahead, next slide. Okay. <laughs> um, this one, uh, we disclosed these at 7 a.m. Pacific time this morning. We have one critical severity vulnerability for F5 OS that does have a uh, asterisk next to it because it's only a critical in CVSS version 4. It's a high when scored with CVSS version 3.1. We have one external researcher reported vulnerability. The products that are impacted are Big IP TMOS, Big IP Next version 20, Big IP Next SPK and CNF, F5OSA for our series, and F5OSC for VLOS. Our next QSN will be on August 13, 2025. Um, as far as the issue breakdowns go, we have zero criticals when using CVSS version 3.1 as stated prior. And uh, that one is, there is one that is a critical when using CVSS version 4. Otherwise, for 3.1, the breakdowns are 11 highs, one medium. No Nginx products are affected in this QSN. And for the types, we have four control plane and eight data plane. And the eight data plane issues are of the DOS type. Next slide, please. The minimum versions to fix these disclosed issues are for big IP 17.5.0 or 17.1.2.2 in the 17 branches. 16.1.6 in the 16 branch and 15.1.10.7 in the 15.1 branch. Um, there's an asterisk nest to that because an EHF will be required to resolve four of the issues in 15.1.10. For Big IP Next version 20, the minimum, ish, minimum version is 20.3.0. And for SPK and CNF, it's 2.0.0. For the F5 systems, F5 OS, the minimum version will be 1.8.0. Go ahead. All right, we have three issues in this QSN that we want to spotlight. The first one is CVE 2025-36546. This is a high. It's also a critical when scored in CVSS version four. The impact is limited to the F5 OS running in appliance mode and only via the control plane. So you can lock down your management ports um, and uh, a lot of customers don't use appliance mode. So if you're not in appliance mode, you're not affected. Um, for this issue, an attacker can use a previously trusted SSH key to log into the F5 OS system. So if you had trusted SSH keys before going to appliance mode, uh, they will still be able to be used. So you can revoke those keys prior to going to appliance mode, and that would mitigate the issue or move to a version that's fixed. CVE 2025-31644, this is a high. Research, this is a researcher reported issue in TMOS that um, it took us a few iterations to get the fix correct for this one. This is also limited to appliance mode, but in classic Big IP and only via the control plane. Authenticated attacker with high privileges can break out of appliance mode. We have CVE 2025-41431. This is also a high. This is uh, an attacker can cause invalid traffic mirroring, resulting in the standby peer denial of service. So uh, deployments with multiple distributed traffic groups where you have uh, 
multiple traffic groups. Some are active on one device and uh, others are active on the peer device. This could cause a traffic outage for some of it if uh, the peer device crashes while there are some active traffic groups on it. And that finishes our presentation for this QSN. Is there any questions? I don't see any questions out there. Uh, let me check LinkedIn because they don't always come in real quick just to make sure we're okay over there. Uh, nope, I don't see any questions there. So um, it looks like, uh, you know, that's uh, that's a wrap. I, I think we can <laughs> we can call that one a, a, a clean, quick thing. And I'll just mention to those who might come later, um, you mentioned it earlier, but the next QSN is August 13th, uh, 2025. And the details are out on myf5.com. The knowledge article is K000151008, where all the details you just shared are present. So with that, uh, we'll get out of here. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for joining and community. Thank you. Uh, take care and have a good week. All right. Thanks, Jason. Take care. All right, bye.